time. It's just a matter of time when they kick down your door and you go to jail. That's all. It's a matter of time. I've been saying that for a very long time. But baby, I can promise you, it's a matter of time. <laughs> continue to do you. Because when you have nothing, when you speak nothing over your life, when you continue to be, your heart can only take so much. Your heart. You know how when you, and, and I'm not talking about the person y'all think it is. I'm just talking in general. But you know when I was fat and I was big, it took me to manifest that I want to go get surgery. But after you get surgery, you have to continue to work out. Um, those that sit around eating 20 pounds of chicken wings together, lose some weight. You hear this? You're ugly. Lose some weight and come out your mama house. That raggly car. You ugly. The world hates you. Go. Go do something to yourself. And just because you didn't eat today or tomorrow, boy, you still huge and fat and ugly. You look like you stank. And you think I put a restraining order on you. I'm going to do more. Record that. You're broke. You can't go after me. You're broke. Okay? <laughs> You're broke. Okay? I was about to say some mean, ugly, some more stuff, but I'm like, I, well, I think that. I want to entertain them for a second. You are a piece. You wouldn't. Let me say something. You? I would be very careful. That's why the feds are watching you. Well, they haven't got me yet. He keeps saying it. Because they went on your stupid, dumb, crazy, retarded self. Say something. That's all. Go lose some weight, you fat, nasty pig. Okay? Little boy? Okay? That's why, that's why I went back to court and they finna get you again. <laughs> well, I went no for it. Come, come out your mama trifle nasty house. I heard she was. I heard. And I, I heard the I see you. Honey, the I see you. What's she in the I see you? You begging for prayers? You begging for my supporters? <laughs> and my haters to buy you something to eat while you was in the hospital, while she was in the ICU. Boy, your mama was about to die. Your mom was about to die, who was almost dead. And you sitting around trying to screen record and talk about somebody? If I was you, I would go back into prayer, okay? You thought you experienced what you experienced. Leave people alone. If, if and I'm not saying, I'm not talking about his mom because nobody cares. Let's be real. But I said what I said. Your mama was about to die. And you still in the same mind, mental state mind, don't have nothing. Sitting around talking about me when you over 900 pounds, you're ugly. You said you might like yourself. I'm good for you. I'm so happy you love yourself. But you should love yourself enough to take care of your health. Your heart can only take so much, you fat, nasty, no good pig. You have nothing. You, and I'm telling you this now. You will never, ever become the one. Never. Okay? You can try to act like me, like you're in a radio station, child. Whatever you was doing, I heard. You still get no job. You still making no money. You on disability if you are. You probably some rushing at home, stalking me and jacking off on me. You are a nobody. You ain't nothing but a piece of trash. And I want you to bring that retarded stuff here to St. Louis. And you, I promise you, you won't see daylight. You're going right to jail. You're going to sit around and go play with dirt and pigs, you monkey. You dog. Okay? You're a piece of dog. That's why, that's why you went through what you went through. But God ain't through with you yet. Because if your mama died today or tomorrow, you're going to be homeless. You ain't going to have nothing. And believe me, God ain't through with you yet. Trust and believe that. He ain't through with you yet. She, she almost dead. About to die. They can't figure out what's going on with her. Baby, when you touch God's people, he say, touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm. God will attack your household. He will attack your body. He will make you feel like you're nobody. You're depressed because you have to stop. You have to keep, keep your mouth off God's people. And you wonder why I got in that nasty trifling home. The FBI already told me how that house nasty look, how nasty it look. Mouth shaking, trifling home. Your retarded self finally driving because I'm driving. You nobody and you never will become nobody. And I said what I said. All right, y'all. Let me get off on here. Keep screen recording. I love it. Ain't nobody out here can whoop my butt. Okay? All right. Come off. I'll see. I see you again. You gonna do that with you? So I'm gonna tell y'all a little, little secret. It's a stalker that I've been that I have I haven't, and they can't say I have. No one can say. It's a stalker who is obese, who have no money, no no nothing, who lives in Detroit that no one loves, who act like they have fans when no one knows you. Mama almost dead. Heart about to get ready to give up. He's about to get ready to die sooner or later. Heart is going to give up with all the food that this obese been eating. Don't have no money. Don't have no job. No degree. Bills on top of bills. Living in a, a shack. Somebody say shack in the comments. Shack. Living in a shack. Don't know if the FBI is watching them. Don't know if they're going to get sued today or tomorrow. Don't have no money to back it up. Smelling like a dog. Looking like a gorilla. Smelling like a monkey. Obese. My, my topic for today is obese. When you're obese, you have nothing. When you are delusional and mental, you sit up and eat food. You talk about boats. When you are sick in your body, sick in your stomach, mama don't, mama don't know what's wrong with the body, but you just don't know. Death is coming to your household. Hey, hey, eat those. Death is coming to your household. Death is coming sooner or later. You just watch and see. Hear my words. I don't wish that, but death is coming to your household. Oh, yeah, because when you attack God's people, you begin to get trashy and nasty, broke. Speaking of things you know nothing about, my mama would have, my mama is, well, was a drug addict or was a alcoholic, but at least she ain't was in nobody's hospital trying to get signed today or trying to get in a coma, um, being in a coma. Being obese, being nasty, ungodly, having nothing going on for themselves. Being broke for no reason. I think I would too. Don't 
don't have nothing on. How can both of y'all fit in that car? That's my question. How do you guys both fit in that car when both of y'all are 900 pounds? And you're talking about, well, y'all might be gay. You too big and sloppy to be sitting around talking about people. Keep your mouth off God's people when you have nothing going on for yourself. You are obese. You are overweight. You're ugly. You stink. You do look like you stink now. And you got your nerves to be a homosexual. You already scratched out the mark that God don't like. You know the Bible did say he doesn't like obese. Did you know the Bible also said that he does not like sin? No sin is better than a little sin. But when you sit up on the internet like an old big gorilla stalking, we have your information. You are going to jail pretty soon. The only reason why you haven't, because they are building up a serious case against you. I'm saying it. You don't have to be. I don't care how many lawyers you have. I don't care how many lawyers, how many fans, <laughs> crazy folks you think you have. You will never be able to overtake a person to have millions. You will never. And whenever you're ready to go there, believe me, I'm ready to go with you. Okay? All right. You, you say I'm a liar. I don't care what you think. Your, your opinion doesn't matter when you have nothing going on in life. You will never be successful. You will never be rich. You will never be famous. You will never be on blogs. You will never be nowhere where you think you might be. You have a mental problem. But sit around talking about my mom ain't going to help. Sit around telling people my mom is a drug. I'm a public figure. I, I share information whenever I want to. And if you decide to use it against me, that's you. But one thing you won't do is the stuff that you're doing. It's called internet bullying. You are too nasty. You are too not good looking. You are, you are very, you look just like a dog. You know a dog? You like a dog, an animal. But I've never seen a dog that big, so I, you're a pig. You actually bigger than a pig. I mean, I, I don't know what animal you are right now. Somebody will have to tell me in the comments. But I, I, I'm very aware, I got some messages. I'm not gonna report your page because I want, I'm not gonna report your page, which I'm not gonna report your videos. I'm gonna leave it up there. That's why you've been up there for a while. Because I'm not going to report your page. I need every video that's out there. Now you say, well, he's saying words to me. I can't say nothing back. You the one that's making me become a woman. You the one put out there you're going to kill me. You the one put out there that you said that you uh, that all type of I when I go live. You do all I'm telling you, I'm not through with you. I might have my surgery, something you would never be able to afford. But you know they shouldn't now because you should be able to sleep because you should qualify for Medicaid. You are on disability, you should be. Um because you have a mental well, we're gonna make sure you go to jail and you get some help. We're gonna make sure you go to the hospital. And as you guys know, thanks of God, that's in the comments. If people are sitting around like call DeAndre Wise, call DeAndre Wise. Who is sitting around doing the stuff that he's doing now you can request him to be in a hospital he lives in detroit the city of detroit he has been served two times a restraining order and i don't know the other thing i don't want to lie um so i just want to say call the andre wise if i was you i would watch out I, I will very watch carefully you don't know the moves that we're making and you're not going to know the moves i've learned to move in silence because i know you're not that stupid and i also know that you're not that dumb but you're not using your knowledge your education towards something positive you are a stalker you are a um, child molester and you are a murderer put out there that you're going to kill me well i'm taking it as that and believe me i live in st louis missouri in the city of st louis i'm never scared okay so whenever you're ready to get whenever you're ready to go that way be happy to go to jail okay all right and you're gonna go there for the rest of your life you keep messing with me god don't play about bullying i don't speak of you and and there have been days you know they can pull record to see when you went live when you do when, when let me shut up okay let me tell y'all what the fbi have and i'm not i want to say too much he can go back and delete his videos all he wants youtube can retrieve those videos i was told and they have done it. They also sent uh, um, some information to YouTube to have every time he go live, to have every video in a, I don't know, I'm not lying. I don't, and um, if I'm making this up, the Lord knows. So you, let me shut up. I'm talking too much. I'm talking too much. But anyway, if you delete it today or tomorrow, we have, they have it. I know we, they have it. Um, your YouTube is being monitored. Um, you don't know who's watching it. Um, I would watch very carefully the things that you're saying. Okay? Watch very carefully. And I don't care who you know. And I don't care what type of dictionary or how you Googling things. You steal a hawk. And you think your mom was on the table almost dying. You better watch out because God can put the same thing on you. I don't mess with you. I don't know you. And I'm not talking about you no more. I haven't talked about you a long time because you are not important. You never will be. You are nobody. No one in the world likes you. You're ugly. You're stank. You, 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 you're a wasteful human being, to be honest. You really are. You are a, a, a wasteful, a hateful, a delusional person. Who records people on YouTube? And you're watching it now. We, we, I'm very worried about it. And I know the page that you're using. Stop talking to people. Everybody that's smiling your face is not your friend. You're, you're, you're nothing to God. And I'm just being real with you. Until you change your habits, change the way you look, change the way you are, change the way you live. If you die today or tomorrow, do you know you will not go to heaven? Do you know that? You are not going to heaven. You are going to hell. Your body will burn and create itself. That's what the Bible said. You are attacking people that you never met in life. You are going off the internet. You are going off people that smoke weed, that drug, that homeless. I found house. Men and men sleeping with each other. Doing all ungodly things. That's not the act of God. And you got your nerves to sit here calling me sis. At least I know who I am. And in my eyes, in my ears, I'm a man. And God created male and female. I, if I chose to be gay or straight, that's my decision. You cannot make me become a man or a woman. I'm asking you this now. You do not delete your stuff. Within 24 hours, I'm going back to the court and request for you to, re to, um, to go to jail. And it says it because I've been building up everything. And I'm giving you 24 hours. 24 hours. 24 hours to delete your videos. And if not, I'm taking some serious actions. And I can put that on everything. That's, I, will, I will pay $100,000 a month just to make sure you go to jail. And you think it's a game. I've already talked to my attorneys. My attorneys have already talked to the court. And my attorneys are already filling out paperwork now. Okay? And they are watching this live. They are on this live. 
and I'm pretty sure they're watching yours. Okay? I don't care what this life is used for. Good. Whatever you use. Good. I'm not scared. Like, I'm going to say one more time. You will drop dead if you do not stop messing with God's people. God will get you. Leave God's people alone. You don't know from right from wrong because you're slow. Have a seat. Go love yourself. Stop eating DoorDash and living off my haters. My haters, I'm coming out. I heard they sending you money. Good. They must be sending you that much. You still live in that shack. Learn to love yourself. Learn to be happy and stop eating 20, 30 pieces of chicken wings. And now I heard you up here trying to lose weight. Like, child, it ain't gonna happen. It ain't, you, uh, 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 no. You got two, you got, you got, you got a million pounds of that in you. Oh, it's gonna take a lot. <laughs> Not even a sleeve will work. <laughs> I love y'all. Love you. Mwah. Bam, 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 bam. Bloop. I want everybody in the comments to say, bloop. <laughs> it's funny, I'm laughing. All right, you guys, I'm on my way to sex. I, just, I literally just pulled up. I get a couple things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Try something and see. You got, you, you are, you, you, this is all, you, <laughs> this is a world that you're freely to do. You can do what I can't stop you from doing nothing. Try something and see. And just because so many people are here making money off me, sometimes you have to let it build up for a case. Okay? For copywriting. There's so much stuff that comes out here. You can't sue everybody. You know one thing I learned from my lawyers, my attorneys? You can't always sue everybody. You know, y'all know I got some lawyers that are following me right now. And I know some in the comments. We're not friends, but I know who you are. And y'all are attorneys. <laughs> I did not know that you guys have a system that you can tell if a person has something. Like if they have cars or credit or money in the banks, even though you might not have access to those banks because you have to file court orders. But, um, but you guys have um, people who knows. Like my lawyer told me, Andrew, stop getting on social media. Arguing with a person. And I'm not talking about child. I'm not talking about child. I'm just going to tell you. Stop getting on social media and going back and forth with that clown. Stop giving that clown some attention that that person would never get and never deserve. I was like, wow, you're right. Stop feeding, um, stop feeding to a clown that's in debt. Stop feeding to a clown that would never be nothing and have nothing. We're not speaking that over nobody loud. It's just how it look. You don't have nothing. You work from home. You're not even making 40, 50 dollars an hour. What do I even look like sitting and talking with you at the table? There's nothing to talk about. Okay. <laughs> yes. Um, Beach Cherry 79. Okay. No, they're not judging. They're being real. That's the difference. So I accept that. So no matter what you guys have heard about me out here, to be honest, I don't care. You don't pay my bills. You know, I get up every day and work every day that I'm doing in life. And ain't gonna get nowhere. <laughs> Stay up on YouTube trying to make a couple cents. Okay. Stay up on YouTube trying to make a couple cents. Like my lawyer said, you better not ever get back on social media and address a person that don't have nothing. When we try to sue, baby, your credit ain't matching what you be saying about me. Your money ain't matching. You have nothing. Now, on that note, Good night. Snatch, honey. Snatch. <laughs> Somebody said, I love you some Andrew. Yes, it says, I love you too, baby. Baby, your credit ain't matching because I tried to sue you. I was going to take your coins, but you don't got nothing. And they do have a system to check. Well, Tasha K got money. Because, <laughs> baby, I was going to sue some people on YouTube. And when I start Googling their real names and all that type of stuff, and my lawyers got it, they don't have nothing, y'all. Y'all people that y'all think that's on YouTube talking bad about Andrew, they have nothing. Those are people that work. That have nothing. And I'm not going to sue them. They'll make that much money. We already called their jobs. We already got one person fired and about to get fired from this one. We just let stuff build up. When I move, I, mean, I move like the feds. You won't know when I move. <laughs> you won't know. Just like you didn't know you lost the job. So you got called in. Don't play with me. Okay? <laughs> Don't play with me. <laughs> How you get fired from a job, child? Ah, and I ain't through yet. <laughs> Where are you walking to? Hey, uh, coffee with Kanye. Hey, are you at Fort Sport? I definitely not. That's scary. <laughs> How you get fired from a job, child? Thank you for calling AAA. How may I help you? Thank you for calling AAA. How may I help you? Thank you for calling AAA. How may I help you? Would you like a tow truck? Okay, let me turn to you. Thank you for calling AAA. How am I help you? Oh, let me get back on social media and talk about Andrew Caldwell and stalk him and record his videos. <laughs> How you work on the, uh, at a job and don't think you're going to lose the job that you're making? Maybe I will make you lose everything. Okay? And if I decide to leave today or tomorrow, I'm still going to be good. You want me to send me around her crying? But they, uh, honey, I represent myself. I'm Andrew Caldwell. I'm going to always get a job. I'm going to always be booked and busy.
I'm gonna always do me. And if I had some hair, I don't say hi to me with your stupid um, If I had some hair, I keep doing this. Whatever negative you say about me, I'm gonna turn around and make some money off of it. Okay? My supporters, no matter what a fat bonk said about me, um, I would not be going live talking negative. Fat bonk. No matter what a fat, huge bonk, monkey, gorilla, bonk box, stank box, trash box, low life, huh, say about me, baby, guess what? My supporters, my black women, the real black women on here, come on, I don't like women. My mom is a woman. I don't like you. How about that? Well, you want to be a woman. <laughs> Hello? Bro, um, so you have down. to understand. You have to understand. I'm me. And I'm going to continue to be me. Okay? Nothing that you say and do on this internet is going to stop my, my supporters. They're going to continue to make me rich. They're going to continue to make me how I want to live. I'm going to always do this, go there. I'm going to travel this weekend. How about that? And I'm going to shop at Hermes. I'm going to tell y'all my location. I'm going to Hermes this weekend. I'm going to the Louis Vuitton store this weekend. Okay, I'm going to be in Chicago. You fat funk. Listen, y'all, listen. Because I'm, listen. You fat, nasty funk. You funk box. You low piece of trash. Um, I would not be going live talking negative. And you know who I'm talking about, y'all. I got a video of this funk box I'm talking about. Yeah, he moving. Trash funk, low life box. You will never know where I'm moving at. And by the way, <laughs> ah! wait for it. Somebody said, wait for it. Put in the comments, wait for it. I'm not showing my house unless I'm getting paid to do so. No negative. You correct. I'm not, I'm not being negative. It's overwhelming. Okay, fat funk. It's overwhelming. Okay, I, and by the way, I, I want y'all to run this back. I hope I hope you on live right now. I will pay for you to get some liposuction. I will pay. I was gonna say I would pay for you a makeover, but uh, uh, I, you, you, no. Um, <laughs> I am so happy. I just came on here. I just came on here. I'm gonna be in Chicago. You fat weird. I'm telling y'all. Um, I love y'all. I'm about to get off on here. I wanna go. Guys, 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 keep screen recording videos. Um. If you guys can go on YouTube and screen record some videos and send them to me. I don't like to see them. I don't go over there. Um, so um, as you guys saw in the email right here, let me show you. I, I did blurry out her name because I didn't want folks calling her. Because, you know, you got to show receipts from now on. That's sad, but because folks, folks always thinking people lying. Hold on, let me get this receipt right quick, y'all. Let me get this receipt. Hold on, y'all. It should be up here. I don't know why it be far because I just did it the other day. Hold on, y'all. I'm getting this receipt for y'all. Because I know a lot of people like to send me stuff. All right. So, as we say, I received the additional information that you sent. I sent some information, videos, and stuff like that. Thank you for collecting them and sending them as well. It will be useful moving forward in this investigation. Case building. Do I have any educated people in the comments? Case building is not a fast process. I will keep you posted along the way. Case building is not a fast process. They go get a strong, a strong case. And you see at the bottom, I blurry out her name. And then also, they also retrieved some videos from um, YouTube as well, she said. They contacted YouTube. They sent out some letters, and YouTube had to turn in some videos. Uh, so. Mm. So, the day will come soon, you guys. Just know, when that person is live, they're watching it. You don't have to keep um, telling me about certain things, but I do need certain things on my end when we go to court. People gonna get enough of uh, stalking, harassing. That's all stalking and harassing. Then I need to go back and see about this restraining order to see how about how can we can um, um how can we um, have them to violate his order because he continue to go live when I go live and stuff and harass me. Funk. No matter what, a fat, huge funk monkey, gorilla, funk box, stank box, trash box, low life. <laughs> Somebody he go kill me. So yeah. Somebody said the nation want to be a woman. Child, that, 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 that nasty thing who probably got diseases on top of diseases. Ain't going to have, ain't, ain't probably, and, and might not even live that long. <laughs> that, I, I don't think God let people with that type of problems and them type of, um, God said, you know, God said, so while you sitting around talking about me, go get you a degree called DeAndre Wise. I'm saying your name because I keep.
keep hearing it a lot. I keep saying it. I don't watch your YouTube videos. I really don't. Before I get started, I just want to check on the tornado hurricane that's hitting Atlanta. Yep, I knew it. He's so obsessed with me and I don't even go to his channel or know who he is. Let me see. He thinks about me all the time and I don't even know the name of his channel. And one thing I'm gonna tell you, you don't have to believe what I'm gonna do to you. You just wait and see what's coming your way. And it's gonna be a lawsuit. Oh, now he's telling me, watch and see. And I'm gonna request the judge for your crazy, obsessed, stupid, mentally person. You, if I don't know how to speak completely English to get off social media. And when you got, when you got served, that's what it said. Get off social media. You are not dolling me. You're not stopping my bags. You're trying. Yeah, you're out here trying. But guess what? You the one that got fired from AAA. Okay? And we, what we're doing is, I'm building up a case. And if you are working right now, I can put money on everything. You're going to get fired from that one. My lawyers are going to be on it on Tuesday. I already talked to them. They already got paid to go after you. Stop coming for me. I don't want to be a woman. Stop making, stop putting girl stuff on me. Stop addressing me. I don't know you, sir. We never spoke. We never hung out. Stop telling people you go kill me. Stop telling people you know me. Every time I go live, you're going live. Call DeAndre Wise. I'm saying your name and I'm begging you. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. You live in Detroit. Focus on the weather. Focus on building up your community. Oh, I forgot you have nothing to build up your community. Your heart is not real mine. It's not right. Stop it. I don't know you. Go feed the homeless. Go give back to your community. Go and have those obsessed fans to donate some money to you so you can give back. Go find you a life. You would never, we would never, ever, while you are alive on this earth, be friends, go live, eat, eat, drink coffee. If I have a public event, I promise you, you pop up there. That will be the last time you pop up at any place. Okay? And I mean, you can take this however you want to take it. That'd be the last time. Because you already have a restraining order. Okay? So, and we go, and that's going to stay out. I'm, I'm, I'm going to keep that for the rest of my life. I'm just letting you know that now. I don't trust you. I don't know you. You are scared. You are, I mean, you're not scared. I'm scared of you. And you are, I, I don't know the words. Leave me alone, call DeAndre Wise. That's all I ask. I don't know you. I never met you. I never had a relationship with you. Stop going live when I go live. Why? We, we have a order out on you. And your order is said to, to leave me alone on social media, which you continue to do so. You keep having people to attack me. Today and tomorrow, I won't address you. I'm going, since I'm so rich, you right? I'm about to put my money where I need to put it at. Okay? Call DeAndre Wise. I'm going live at 9.09 p.m. Requested by my lawyers to go on live and ask you. They're screen recording this, okay? Call DeAndre, call C-A-R-L, DeAndre Wise, W-I-W-I-S-E, Wise. I'm asking you nice, from St. Louis, Missouri. Once again, 9.09 to leave me alone on social media, okay? All right, you guys, I'm getting off. And yes, we're going to use this video. Um, so I, I have asked him and, and I promise you, it's going to be put out in court. Um, and I'm going to sue and I'm going to do other things, okay? Um, I want you guys to hold hold me to whatever I said today. Hold, hold, hold it to me. We're going to use this video. Um, so I, I have asked him and, and I promise you, it's going to be put out in court. Um, and I'm going to sue and I'm going to do other things, okay? Um, I want you guys to hold, hold me to whatever I said today. Hold, hold, hold it to me. Be on standby. Um, and that's all I have to say. I'm scared of this person. This person is dangerous. Um, and, and dangerous is you obsessed. Um, and you are. <laughs> um, so I'm asking you publicly to leave me alone. All right. And also you need to delete that page. Okay. You need to delete that. You're not getting to me. I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm we're going to use this video in court. Don't say that we never went live on public and ask you because we definitely using this. All right. So change the subject. Oh, they're live right now. Screenshot it. Screenshot it. I got to save this live. Y'all got to get off because they can cut my live off because I think I've been on here for a while. I need to save this live so we can use it. Your stalker is screen recording this live right now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Call DeAndre Wise. Please leave me alone. Okay. How's Detroit? Please leave me alone. Stop telling people you're going to kill me. Okay. Stop telling people you're going to come to St. Louis and kill me. Stop it. Please. Call DeAndre Wise. Okay. I need, I need y'all to get some information out on call DeAndre Wise. Um, who, 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 I need to know where he lives. We need to know um, his phone number. Um, we need to know who his mama first. I need to know the mom first and last name. And I need to see if there's any cars in his name. Inbox it to me.
credit good. Inbox it to me. His name is Carl Coyle, C-A-R-L, DeAndre Wise. Inbox it to me. Go, street team. Send me all the tea, the mama, the sisters, the brothers. I need to know everything, the deeds. Call, no, it's C-A-R-L, DeAndre Wise. <clears throat> Send me all the tea. I need to know where he's working at right now. All the tea. Is he working? Is he employed right now? We need to know all that. <laughs> he probably ate his whole family. <laughs> they show they both look like it, yeah. I got you, Drewski. Thank you, baby. Wait, is he? I want to know where his current employee is right now. Uh, street team activate. Yes, thank y'all. Look at y'all. I love y'all for it. Yes, honey. He ate all his siblings. Street team, honey. I need to know is he employed right now. I need to know, uh, Mama, first and last name, because I'm gonna send. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna come after her now. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna send her something. I, I promise y'all, do it, and I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm, I want to send his mama um, a cease and desist. Uh, I wanna, I wanna, I'm, I'm gonna get his credit. I'm gonna, if she got credit, I'm coming after the mama for his behavior. He lives in the same household. She's responsible. Somebody says street team activate. Is he employed right now? He don't have an IG. We don't know his IG. He's just on YouTube right now watching my video right now. They're being screen recorded. They're watching right now. The, the, the dope and the crackheads. Dope heads and crackheads, honey. You need to start an Andrew su uh, super group chat so we can take all down. No, we, my lawyer's gonna do that. I just, I, I just want to come out. I want to come after his mama now. I want to get her coins. That's like, you want to mess with me? I'm gonna come after your mama. Um, anybody has her number? Anybody has her information? Anybody has his mama information? Inbox it to me. Anybody has her first and last name? His, his name is Coyle. Call DeAndre Wise. Look up his mama. If his daddy's still alive, probably not. Um, we need to know all of that. Street team, get to work. Inbox it to me. My inbox is always open for you. And I need it before next week. He's obsessed with you, but that's okay. I'm about to be obsessed with him. <clears throat> now I'm about to come after your mama. Anybody that live in your house, I'm, and I'm not talking about his mama, but I'm, I'm about to show you what I'm about to do. Yes, he is sick. Oh, yeah, he's sick. I'm going to get him, y'all. Y'all send me all that information. I'm about to handle them. And I, and I want to know, is he working right now? They all got diabetes. <laughs> yes. You, hey, did you see those diabetes shoes? Those big old white shoes? Those diabetes shoes they got to wear? And, uh, you know, they lean. And when he drive, the seat is all the way like this. When he drive, I'm going to show y'all. Look, this is when he drive, the seat. Yeah, I know I'm driving. How y'all doing? Hold on, look like this, y'all. Look. Y'all know I'm driving. Uh, how y'all do? Come out and give God the praise. <laughs> But the seat go back or way, way, way back than that. Because, you know, when you're huge, you're overweight, diabetes shoes, that's what you have to do, you know? Come out again, I'm right, I gotta act like him. Go ahead, man, you would never be me. You're too big, you're too broke, you're too sloppy. Them, 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 boy, you better go, uh, get some, you gonna go get some new, <laughs> some new balance. <laughs> Somebody said new balance, 608 shoes. <laughs> the 608 shoes. Y'all, it's crazy. It's I got a minute and seven, a minute and 15 remaining. So I've been here a whole hour with y'all clowning. Um, it's stomach, touch the wheel. Yes, yes, it does. <laughs> Come on and give God some brain. Boy, y'all go get your, somebody sent me that. I saw a bug it up. <laughs> the car was so raggedy, y'all. <laughs> so, I'm about to get off on here. Send me her first, her last name, uh, address, phone number, everything. I'm, I'm about to send a letter to her and, and, and induce myself to her. Um, I need to know, is he working? Where is he working at right now? You know, I want to know where is he working at right now? You know, is he working? I want to talk to them. I want to I want to talk to his mom and his sister. You know, he has a sister. On, on, on his Facebook page, he talks real nice over there. He don't post this, he don't post this mess on Facebook. So, so what have been doing? is going through all his friends on Facebook, talking to them. They all know. Some of his family members do know. So, yeah. Thank you, Street Team. Love you.